Hey guys, I'm Bobby Schessler. I'm the fashion director at Who Aware. And my name is Kat Collins. I'm editorial director at Who Aware. And we are so excited because we are celebrating our 10th anniversary at Who Aware. I can't even possibly believe it's been 10 Cannot years. Cannot wrap my head around it's that. It's crazy. <laughs> um, and so today we're with Gap, Banana Republic, and Old Navy. And we are in our Who Aware 10 experience, which is an exhibit in West Hollywood, California. And it's super cool, open to the public, as you guys are here. So come bring your friends back. And it's really cool because it does a sort of a deep dive into what's been going on in the fashion world in the past 10 years. You know, there's the highs, there's the lows, like I can't believe I wore that, yes. which is really fun to look back on yes. and be like, what? <laughs> um, and it also sort of chronicles the industry movements too, like when street style photography became such a thing, when fashion bloggers came onto the scene and then became like a part of the industry that like now we can't live without. Mm -hmm. Um, so it does that too, the sort of history of it all. Totally. And my favorite, personal favorite part is the shoe wall. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um, it does a shoe for every single year, like the it shoe you needed to have. Um, of note is the Isabelle Laurent wedge sneaker. So I don't care if there are women's, I want them. Who <laughs> have <laughs> I bet some of, some of you ladies had them. Have them right? <laughs> um, so sort of on that note, looking back at the past 10 years in fashion, we have a little wrap here of some of the key iconic pieces from Gap, uh, Old Navy, and Van Banana Republic um, for the past 10 years. Starting with this little number, which is from 2006. This is the same year that Who Aware launched. Um, a little number from Banana Republic. I could see Hillary um, Kerr, one of our co-founders, totally wearing this. She loves that sort of Brigitte Bardot you know, classic thing going on. Um, and what's great about this is Honestly, I feel like the way to a lady's heart is through a pocket. So it's, it's, not, it's not flowers or diamonds, it's a pocket. It's a pocket. Right? That's all we need, right? So that's what Do you guys have ever like, worn any of these or remember these? I kind of want to know. Just yeah, don't um, be shy. All right, this is one of my favorites because I totally remember this. Mm -hmm. This is like a little vest from Gap and it's from 2008. And I totally remember girls wearing like a white t-shirt, like really distressed jeans, and like a vest over top. And a fedora. If you really oh, remember. Like, it's right fedora. <laughs> Yes, yeah. yes. I, t and I actually think I had a vest too, which I like try to pull off. I don't think it worked, but I do honestly remember this. I love it. And this is from 2010, Banana mm -hmm. Republic. This is like a little cocktail mm -hmm. moment. And what I remember most about this sort of moment was, like, did you guys have those like bib sort of statement necklaces? Yeah. Yeah. And you could either do it with the necklace or you could do it with your dress. Like, totally. sort of get a two-in-one mm -hmm. moment there. It's like the one-and-done dress. I'm into it. <laughs> Some people did both. Right. And I know. Then, like, if you were really going for it, you lay it on top. That's a lot of look. Still have it. <laughs> all to you. Yeah. All to you. Um, okay, next. Obviously, I must have a thing for vests, which I didn't realize until this exact moment. But um, <laughs> this is a little fur vest from Banana Republic. I think it's from 2011. Um, I totally remember. I mean, fur vests are kind of like a thing now. They kind of have been. But this kind of style with a little ribbon. You wear it with your flare. You wear it with your flare jeans. <laughs> that feels like very, very of that time. Yeah. Did you guys think? Yeah, yes. it's very <laughs> And then from 2014, we have this statement coat from Old Navy, which I don't know if you guys, I mean, it was only two years ago, yeah. but like having a primary color coat, whether it was the bright red or pink was really big, like having the pink coat, um, and here's this little blue, and it was all about that, like very minimal except for the color. The color was loud. Right, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Easiest way to make a statement. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, you just like pop it on, yeah. and then you're done. Um, so uh, we've just taken a look back up and see what from 10 years ago, let's move forward a little bit and look at some of the pieces that are available now from Gap, Banana Republic, and Old Navy. And for those of you watching, we are going to put everything you see here, um, shopping links in the comments below too, and you guys can shop afterwards. So let's sort of do this by trends. Okay. Make it a little like informational. Okay. So the number one trend I think for fall is everywhere. And honestly, if anyone asks you like, what's, what's hot now? What right. should I buy? It's velvet. That's it. That's all you have to That's know. One and word. Just mm -hmm. guys, look at this set. I'm buying over this. I might wear it to the Who What Wear like holiday party. I what definitely do you think? agree with that. <laughs> I personally love this as a side note because while well, like a velvet dress is great as we saw from like 2006, it's kind of crazy how trends come back. I know, um, it's like very circular. This feels like the new way to wear it with like a separate, like the black, right? It's kind of like an alternative to the classic dress. Yeah, it's kind of very cheap. Really and you can even wear this, you know, like this is the evening look, this little dinner public set, but then pair it with this like chunky gap sweater for day with like a little flat and Super, Super cute. Goes from day to night. Love that. Speaking right. of velvet for day, I think a blazer is a great way to do it. Mm. We have these guys from Old Navy. They're from Old Navy. Which 
awesome price point. Yeah. And and looks really relaxed. Nice. You can go classic black or do sort of more of a regal look with the purple. I'm into it. I put like a little blouse and a nice trouser for the office. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. All right, next trend. Let's go denim. Okay. Um, one kind of trend that's always kind of a classic and our readers love, I'm sure you guys do, is skinny jeans. And so let's talk about skinny jeans in particular right now. Let's start with this so it's always about like how to make your skinny jeans feel forward, right? Like how to right. update it so you're not, it's not like 2008, you know? Right. What is the 2016 skinny jean? And this is the 2016, these are from Gap. Um, these have the raw hem, which is kind of like the biggest trend of the moment, as you guys can see here, which is this really cool detail. And what I love most about this is there is this little slit, which kind of gives it even a more kind of of the moment forward yeah. feel. It's very flattering too, I feel like a little slit. Totally is. Yes. But if that's like a little trend, and you want to kind of dip your toe in, but don't go crazy, this one is also from Gap and is mm -hmm. a little more subtle. It's just like a, a little shorter fray there, but right. also sort of achieves the same, the sort same of undone eye. look. I love it. It's a little dressier than like a blue jean, you know? Like a black a, jean? A, yeah. Well, clearly. I know. Bobby I practice what I preach. <laughs> and there actually is a little frame. rock end, just yeah. so you guys know. I'm not lying when I'm up here. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's, that's great for them. Okay. Ooh, and then shearling. This yeah. is trend number three. Yeah. And honestly, shearling, I feel like it's best expressed in outerwear. Totally. Always. And this one has these awesome moto details, which I love, and it's kind of oversized fits. Mm -hmm. You can like. I mean, not here in LA as much, but like you could layer up. So you're going on a ski vacation. <laughs> um, so let's like, what would you wear with this? Well, first of all, I would wear, I feel like this sweater, right? This is yeah. from. This is Banana Republic. This is Gap. We can do, a, obviously, of course, with the jean right here. And these boots. Nice let's talk about these boots, too. These are from Banana Republic with this cute bow detail. Um, I and love they're this. real suede. They're real suede. And I also love kind of like the black and brown moment, which I don't know people say, like, don't wear black and brown, but like totally do it. I think it's great. <laughs> um, One of those fashion rules that yeah. is meant to be broken for yeah, sure. Yeah, like the little slit. Yeah, the shell photo. That's cute. Look, such so a shell. Outfit we made. <laughs> we're fashion people. Live styling. Okay, into that. Love it. And then the last trend, fourth trend to know for fall. This is your favorite trend. Honestly, I want. Because it always comes back in style. So like if you buy it's it now, true. you bought it two years ago, like yeah. it's still cool. Yeah. <laughs> is the military trend. So okay, we have this little guy from so Gap. Cute. So cute. And it's got like the classic military, like full of green, mm -hmm. the cargo pocket. Like, yeah, we get it. And this part. Buy me is so good. With this little like rosy pink color. I know. And what I love is that you could like say you're kinda having like a statement moment, like Friday night, you've got your like pink, okay. but then this comes off. It's detachable, so like then when you're running so around good. on Saturday morning it's with your so errands, they're not like over the top. So I feel like I have you. to, yeah. Whenever there's like a little furry thing, she always has to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I just pull it off so well. <laughs> you guys think. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, right? I feel like I might just like take this. Thank you, Gap, so much. For <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. That yes. We'll wrap this up okay. <laughs> before it gets out of control. Um, thank so you. thank you guys so much for, for watching and thank listening. You so much. Yeah, and we'll see you guys next time. And happy shopping too. We'll put all of this that you see again in the comments below. Yeah, on the Facebook video. Thanks, Bye guys. guys. <laughs>